was rubbish. Who would live here? Seriously, if I had a choice, I wouldn't. Well, you can fly away, can't you? I don't want to. Oh, so why is your arm so rubbish? Honestly, I'll show you why. All right then, brilliant, let's go. Here's the park. I can't wait to chill. It's just the park, but it's all right. What can you do here? Do a bit of golfing, eat some food. Watch out for the other birds though. Oh look, there's a play park. Do you go there often? Really? There's always kids on there. Is this the only play park? No, I'll show you some more if I can be bothered. It's nice here, but where next? The stadium. You have a stadium? Yes. What happens here then? Well, dog racing, stock cars and monster trucks. Sounds great. It's a bit too noisy for me though. I prefer the other stadium. You have two stadiums? Yep. And a race course. This is the Wells League where Yarmouth play football. Look at him go! I bet I could be that runner. But I bet you can't beat me. Bring it on! <laughs> I told you I'd win. Give me a minute to get my breath back then. Where are we now? This is the waterways. Ah, that's why there's lots of ducks. Yeah, and bridges, but not really much happens here. You can't even go on the boat things anymore. But they do have a duck race in the summer. That sounds exciting. Can I enter? You're not a duck. <laughs> Oh look, it's Hollywood. No, it's a cinema. I got banned from there for peeling on the seats. What's your favourite film? Films are boring. You don't like much, do you? I like chips. <laughs> do you like that pier? It gets really busy and there's a lot of tourists. You know that roller coaster over there, yeah? I bang my head on that. Steady Eddie! <laughs> Don't go on them, you get really bad burns on your legs. Oh wow, look at them. What, they're just deck chairs? They aren't very exciting, are they? They are to someone who doesn't live here. Here's the marina centre. What's in there then? Well, it's a swimming pool, but I don't like water. But you're a seabird? So? Well, they've got a gym, dance studio, snooker tables, cafe as well. Is it free? No, you can't really do much of that for free anywhere these days. What about the beach? I don't like the beach. It's always cold and windy. We haven't got a beach where I come from. There's a pleasure beach with a wooden roller coaster and even a circus. Yarmouth has a few festivals and parades every year and they're all free. One of them is the Out There Festival. Who's out there? No, it's a festival that's every year. It's actually quite good. It's in the other park. Do you want to have a look? Wow, there's loads going on here. Yes, acts come from all over Europe to perform here. Party too. <laughs> that looks great. Yarmouth actually has a lot of history. It's got some really interesting museums like the Tom and Tide. And there's a maritime festival that's quite popular too. Plenty of boats and sea stuff.
The community get involved with the parade, like the lantern parade at Christmas time. and the Neighbourhood Carnival for the Arts Festival. Yarmouth's got a twin too. What? What do you mean it's got a twin? A twin town. It's twin with a place called Grand Boyer in France. Oh right, why is that then? I don't really know why, but I know there's a twin society. I think we should ask them. What is Grand Boyer? Well, we yeah, is a small market town in France. It's about 40 miles southwest of Paris. What is the Twinning Association? It's an association of people in Great Yarmouth and Wambouye who get together socially culturally, to forward the aims of friendship. We signed a charter in 1956, agreeing to become Twin Towns, and it's evolved over the years. It was founded in the aftermath of the Second World War, with the aim of preventing another world war. And the idea was to bring people together to learn the language, the culture, the social mores, and to be friends and to keep that friendship going and that's what we try to do. Why should young people get involved? Because young people are the future of twinning and twinning could well be their future. They can help to shape the future to make things happen in the way that they want, not the way we oldies want. Let's see what the mayor thinks too. Okay then. What do you think of the town? I think Great Yarmouth is a wonderful town. It's lots and lots to offer. It has an incredible history due to its seaside location on the east coast of England. For centuries it was a major international fishing port and in the 1800s became a thriving holiday destination. Although the fishing and holiday industries have declined, the town and its beaches are still popular with holiday makers today and the Easter Fair is always a big draw for young people. Its rich heritage has become an attraction for many visitors with the town's unique rows, medieval town wall and beautiful Great Yarmouth Minster, the largest parish church in England. Daniel Defoe, author of Robinson Crusoe, once described Yarmouth's Quay as the finest in Europe, and the town and its people also inspired Charles Dickens to write his popular classic, David Copperfield. Great Yarmouth is now home to over 100,000 people. It is a growing energy industry and boosts one of the largest offshore wind farms in the country. The town has survived many ups and downs over the years, but has a lot to be proud of. When our visitors come from Rombouye, they absolutely love coming here because it's totally different to their surroundings. We have the beach, we have the seaside, we have all the attractions. Where they come from in Rombouye, it's mainly forests, so it's a very big contrast for when they come over here. So they're all rushing down to the beach, you can imagine them, to have a paddle, it's lovely. What do you think there is for young people in Yarmouth? I personally feel there's an awful lot for young people here in Great Yarmouth, but sometimes you have to go out and look for them. There's an awful lot of sports groups, and we do very well in this area with the sports groups. We also do an awful lot of work with the drama. So maybe it's up to you young people to actually let us know what you would like, uh, us as the, the twinning group, uh, you know, what we could provide for you to get you interested with us. Yarmouth's not really a dump. To be honest, it isn't really. Seems like a nice place to me. 
I suppose it's actually quite good here, really. Thank you.